Hello, in this video lecture, we are going to learn how to measure the time complexity of an algorithm by using the operation count method. Now in operation count method, first of all we need to identify the most important operation that is also called as the basic operation. Now there are so many operations in an algorithm. We have to identify the most important operation which is time consuming. Identify the operation which is the most time consuming operation which is the very important operation which runs or which takes maximum execution time. Out of all the operations, find out the operation which takes the maximum execution time. That operation is called as the basic operation. The first step is to find out the, the execution time of execution time of basic operation. Find out the execution time of basic operation. So let that be small b. First of all, identify the basic operation and then find out the execution time of that basic operation. And then next you find out the frequency of basic operation. How many times does that basic operation is executing or is coming up in that algorithm? How many times this basic operation is being executed? Find out the frequency of the basic operation. So that frequency, let's write the count of that, the count of how many times the basic operation executes. That can be the function of n which is the input instance. Now n may be your size of the array or the input instance of the function or the algorithm. Now let's try to find out the time complexity of this particular algorithm using the operation count method. The challenge here is to first of all to identify the basic operation. Now this is the function that calculates the or that finds out the maximum element in a 1D array A. Now there are n number of elements in A. Out of n number of elements I am finding the maximum element using this function. Now, now in this function which is the basic operation? Now if you are having a loop, when we are having the loop, the statement in the innermost loop will be the, the statement that will be executed the most frequently. So in this particular loop, now in this particular algorithm, this is also an operation. We will not consider every all the operations. We have to identify the basic operation. Now basic operation is the one that takes maximum execution time. That is time consuming. So the operation that is in the innermost loop. So this loop, there is one statement inside the loop that is the if statement. So inside the if this comparison is happening. So this comparison here is the basic operation. You can also choose this but this particular statement will only execute if this becomes true. Therefore, there is more probability or there are more chances of you know this is this is always being executed. This comparison is always executed. So this is the the operation which which takes maximum execution time. So find out this operation and then now in our example the basic operation is comparison. In this example the comparison is the basic operation. Now find out what is the execution time of the basic operation. So let's find out B. B is how many what is the time 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 requirement for performing one comparison. So for performing one comparison let's say it takes uh, a constant time one unit of time. Okay so the basic operations take in this example I am assuming it takes one unit of time. Now next you have to find out how many times this basic operation is being executed. So how many times this comparison is done? This comparison is done as long as this loop becomes true. 
So how many times this loop executes? So it starts from one, starts from one and goes till n minus one. So if you start counting from one till n minus one, there are n, n minus one steps. So the count of the basic operation is n minus one. The basic operation takes one unit of execution time and this basic operations basic operation has a frequency or it runs for n minus one times so the time complexity for this particular algorithm can be assumed to be time complexity is nothing but the product of the time taken for one basic operation and number of times that basic operation is being executed remember this count is a function of n wherein n is the b in this case it's the size of the array if the size of the array increases this loop also run for more number of times if n is 10 this loop runs for 9 times if n is 20 this loop runs for 19 times because it is n minus 1 now if i just the value of b is 1 cn is n minus 1 so the time complexity for this is n minus 1 so i can write this asymptotically it will be big o of n so the time requirement for this particular algorithm is big o of n now there's one particular problem in uh, operation count method the success of this particular method depends on how how well you select your basic operation right so your capability of selecting the correct basic operation will decide what would be the time complexity so the success of this particular method depends on how well you select your basic operation because in this particular method we do not consider the time contributed by each and every step so this is this is one of the drawback of operation count method let us take one more example this is a algorithm for adding two matrices a and b and storing the result in the matrix c now in this algorithm we have to identify the basic operation i've already told you if you have loops the basic operation will always lie in the innermost loop so this is the innermost loop there's one statement inside innermost loop this is the statement so in this statement we're actually performing addition of two matrices uh, two elements of matrices a and b and then storing the result in c so in this we have addition as well as assignment operators let's assume this, this addition operation is our basic operation so the basic operation is addition or this is statement that is statement wherein addition is performed now uh, we have identified the basic operation addition now we need to find out the execution time of the basic operation how much time does it take to add one element of one element each of a and b so let's say that takes again a unit time so it's let's say let's say it takes uh, one unit or you may assume it to take some constant time k k unit it's up to you so let's assume it takes one unit here all right now here i'm taking taken k because for different computers the addition operation may take different execution time so it's always safe to take k units all right but in this example let's assume it to be one unit now next is you have to find out the frequency of the basic count or the count or how many times the basic operation executes now this this is the enormous statement this executes as long as this enormous loop executes okay now this loop runs for n times this loop also run, runs for n times because it starts from 0 and goes till n minus 1 that is n times this also goes from 0 and till n minus 1 that is also n times so this runs n times this runs n times so total it runs n squared times now this particular statement is running n squared times each addition takes one unit 
So the time complexity is the product of the execution time of the basic operation and the count of the basic operations, how many times it's occurring. So it's 1 into uh, n squared. So it's n squared as good as big O of n squared. Okay. If you also consider it as k, so it'll, if you consider this one, it will be k into n squared. So this is k n squared. Asymptotically, you can ignore the uh, constant, that k is constant. So it can asymptotically be written as order of n squared. Both are same, but it will just vary with some constant factor. So this is how you find out the time complexity using operation count method. There's one drawback of this method. The success of this method will depend on how well you select the basic operation. That's why we'll go for the next method that is called as step count method in my next video. Step count method in which we consider each and every step that is there in the algorithm for calculating the time complexity. In this particular method, we only focus on one basic operation so there's a drawback because we don't know we are not sure that whether this is a, the correct operation that we have chosen that depends on your experience but in step count method that is our next method what we do is we we actually count the contribution of each and every statement and we estimate the time complexity so that's all for today's video thank you